Ignatius Chombo faces three charges, criminal abuse of office, fraud, and acting inconsistently with his responsibilities as a public officer. Chombo is the most high-profile official to be nabbed in a military operation targeting criminal elements in former President Robert Mugabe's administration. He appeared in court alongside the leader of the ZANU-PF Youth League, Kudzanai Chipanga, who faces charges of publishing falsehoods prejudicial to the state and causing disaffection amongst the army and police. In his inauguration speech, President Emerson Mnangagwa vowed to tackle endemic corruption which has militated against economic recovery. Many here see the high-profile arrests as a first step to fulfilling that pledge but want to see more people in the dock. In fact, one of the things that some of us are going to be doing as soon as we go back to Parliament is to begin to push for the declaration of assets of everybody, including those that have remained outside. They need to explain how they've accrued the farms, they've accrued the resources, they've accrued the lifestyle that many of those in, in, in ZANU-PF do have. The National Anti-Corruption Commission has previously investigated a number of government ministers, including the former second vice president, but hasn't been granted arresting powers, which has hindered its effectiveness. The fresh impetus could now see more vigorous action on some cases that have been stalled due to lack of political will. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.